Donald Trump's recent speech in Asheville, North Carolina, was supposed to be a deep dive into economic issues, but it quickly veered into a chaotic display of anger and personal attacks. Amidst the insults and rants, Trump inadvertently revealed his emerging strategy to challenge Vice President Kamala Harris, even as he struggled to execute it effectively. The former president took the stage with a mix of bravado and bitterness, particularly as he faces the new Democratic ticket without President Joe Biden in the race. Trump's speech, ostensibly focused on economic issues, something voters care deeply about, devolved into another round of the same vitriol and grievances that have come to define his recent public appearances. Trump's strategy against Harris appears to be taking shape, though it's fraught with complications. He's leaning heavily into personal attacks, calling her crazy and not smart, while mocking her laugh in a sexist and derogatory manner. This approach isn't just about making Harris look bad, it's also an attempt to sow doubt about her competence and policies. Trump has coined the term Kamalanomics to associate her with economic problems like inflation and high grocery prices, hoping to undermine her as a serious contender by blaming her for issues that have plagued Biden's administration. This strategy, while aggressive, is not without risks. Trump is portraying Harris as a radical liberal and flip-flopper, a tactic that has worked for Republican campaigns in the past. He's framing her as someone who has changed her positions on key issues like energy and health care to suit political convenience, thus questioning her authenticity and reliability. However, Trump's approach may backfire, especially if it alienates moderate and suburban voters who are crucial in battleground states. The former president's personal attacks and exaggerated warnings of dire consequences under a Harris presidency, ranging from economic collapse to global conflicts, seem designed to play on voter fears. Yet these tactics also risk further polarizing the electorate and intensifying the partisan divide. Trump's inflammatory rhetoric and unhinged behavior could alienate undecided voters and women who might find his attacks on Harris particularly off-putting. Meanwhile, Harris is gaining momentum, having managed to rally the Democratic base and address the gaps left by Biden's departure. Polls indicate that she has reinvigorated Democratic enthusiasm and is bridging the gaps within the party, particularly among minority and younger voters. Trump's over-the-top rhetoric and personal jabs may not be the most effective way to combat this newfound energy and could instead energize Harris's supporters. As the campaign progresses, it's clear that Trump's strategy, though aggressive and personal, is also somewhat disjointed. His speech in North Carolina highlighted both his frustration and his struggle to focus his message. While his attacks on Harris might energize his base, they risk further alienating swing voters who could decide the election. The challenge for Trump will be to find a more disciplined and coherent approach to counter Harris's growing appeal and avoid the pitfalls of his current tactics. Stay subscribed for more videos.